After 16 days off, the Denver Broncos went into Gillette Stadium as nine-point underdogs, upsetting the New England Patriots 18-12. The Broncos controlled the game from the drop, so how did the odds makers and so many talking heads around the NFL get this one so wrong? It starts and ends with underestimating Drew Locke. And the irony in that statement is that Locke didn't have a great game at Foxborough, at least not in the box score. Locke went 10 of 24 for 189 yards and did not throw a touchdown pass while tossing two interceptions. In fact, the Broncos didn't even score a touchdown. So why was Locke critical to the Broncos upsetting the Patriots, you say? All things are possible when a team has its starting quarterback under center. That's the truth. Before this game even kicked, the Broncos' loose energy and confidence was palpable. Locke could be seen dancing on the field pre-game, instilling that elusive confidence in his teammates. Forget Locke's obvious arm talent and athletic ability just for a moment. Just his swagger and childlike enthusiasm for the game have a galvanizing effect on his teammates. Those are intangible qualities that can't be taught. On the field, Locke's physical gifts allowed the Broncos to stretch the field, putting Bill Belichick's disciplined defense and multiple coverages on its heels. Locke was dropping dimes on Sunday, and unfortunately for the box score, his receivers were dropping things too, like the ball, in the end zone. Locke had two surefire touchdowns dropped by his receivers in the first half, which shaped how this game would ultimately unfold. The Broncos only punted twice, which is a credit to Locke, as well as the inspired running of return starter Philip Lindsay, who eclipsed the 100-yard rushing mark for the sixth time in his career. The Broncos, for what it's worth, are 6-0 in those games in which Lindsay gets over the century mark. Locke could have been better and his second interception in the fourth quarter was bad, but he showed great toughness and grit, instilling the belief in his beleaguered teammates that the Broncos could roll into Gillette Stadium, punch the Patriots in the mouth, and upset the best laid plans of Belichick and the odds makers. Brandon McManus deserves a lot of credit and the game ball, which he got, for going 6-for-6 six six on his field goal tries, including two from 50-plus. But without Locke in the equation, even as imperfect as he was, does anyone truly believe the Broncos upset the 9-point favorite Patriots in Week 6? Again, all things are possible for a team when it has its starting quarterback under center. Sitting at 2-3, and three, the Broncos have brought their season back from the brink. With Kansas City next up on the schedule, Locke and company will look to harness this momentum and defy the odds makers yet again. For Mile High Huddle and Sports Illustrated, I'm Chad Jensen.